My name is Jan Boerter and in this section we are going to look at Interaction Recorder search results. Search results will be displayed at any point in time when a query is run and there are some results returned by that query. Now why would I want to have a look at the search results? Of course the search results will give you the ability to view the actual recordings that have been made and then it'll give you the ability to access details regarding those recordings as well as possibly replay the recording if that is what you are looking for. Now the search results will typically return the media type, recording ID, time and date information as well as the length of the recording and the parties that are involved. However, you will notice that on my screen I do have some recordings with a bunch of stars where the local party name is displayed. The reason for that is at the time of the recordings, the user, in this case John Young, was not licensed with the recorder access license. So even though the system recorded the interaction, it's not replayable because it was not licensed at time of recording. These recordings are referred to as encumbered recordings. In order for you to replay these recordings, you will have to log a call with the support desk and they will then have to log into the system and unencumber these recordings for you. Now, once you've selected a recording and it is available for you to listen, you will get the recording details displayed at the bottom of the screen, as you can see on my display over here. I'm just going to resize this slightly. The results will give you the ability to view all of the information regarding this specific interaction. You can see over here, I've got the participant data, any additional attributes, audit trails, which will tell me who accessed the recording at what time and what they did with it, scoring if I have got quality management and, uh, configured, any additional tags and events that's associated with this recording. You also have some additional detail regarding the recording at the top of the screen. You can of course order the uh, recording search results by simply clicking on the column header that you want to order it by, say for example time or date in this case, I can take it from the uh, newest to the oldest, ascending or descending, by recording length or indeed by party number. I can also, if I'm looking for a specific local party for example, let's type in John for example, I can filter out any irrelevant results within my returned environment. Additional information that do get displayed on here includes interaction ID key information as well as the policy that actually resulted in the recording being made in the first place. I also have a reference here to any related recordings. So for example, if there were screen capture involved as well, this will be listed over here and I can then string the recordings together. In this section, we looked at interaction recorder search results. Thank you very much for joining me and see you again soon.